Over here, I have two diagrams here, and I'll be using the one at the bottom to illustrate the point to you. And instead of using pin, I'll be using arrows, which many of you are more familiar with. Okay, let's treat that as the object. Now, the, if you have seen the video of the experiment, you should know that you're supposed to move the pin nearer or further away from the lens such that the image form is of the same size and coincide even though you move your eyes forward and backwards the image and the object will be in line coincide together so at this position it means that whatever ray that comes up from the object it will goes back to the image here and this will only happens if the two ray behave such a way so it let, let me draw the center line of the lens here so if imagine this two ray comes up from the tip of the object after passing through the lens due to refraction at the boundary okay this light ray has to be parallel to the principal axis and when it hits the mirror okay you obey the law of reflection it will be reflected back and then it goes back here and it will form that's why the image is at this position so from theory you know that if i have a the lens over here a parallel beam of light after passing through the lens it will converge to this point and this is focal point and obviously here will be the focal length so that means to say this image when you get this kind of the image coincide with the object that means to say the distance from the optical center to the image here or the object that will be your focal length and another thing that you might be wondering is how do I roughly draw light ray to illustrate that the image form is inverted. So let's draw a simple one, a rough one. Let's say now I'll use the bottom of the object. So if I draw a single light ray passing through the optical center, it will just go straight without bending. So this will be the normal and this is my eye. When it hits the mirror here, it will obeys the law of reflection so it will be reflected and this i and r will be the same that's assuming the glass is actually much longer so it will pass through the glass because of bending of light it will bend towards here and then come to this point that's how you draw the light ray roughly to illustrate that it is inverted so i hope this make it clearer Another thing that you might be wondering is, is the distance of the mirror from the lens, is it important? The answer is no. So whether the lens is very near to the mirror, in this case, or there's a distance here, it doesn't make a difference because these two rays, when you get the image to coincide with the object, the rays here will be parallel to the principal axis and it will hit the mirror perpendicularly. So you will just because the i equals to zero, so it will just reflect back. So this distance doesn't make any difference.